Welcome to this easy watercolour for beginners. How to paint a sailing boat. There is a free sketch in the link in the description. I start with a wash of yellow at the top and then into a combination of yellow and blue down to the horizon level covering what will be a far bank and don't worry about going over the sails of the sailing barge. This is one of the old Thames sailing barges that I've chosen because I think it has a little bit more interest. I've painted many of them over the years. Now I'm coming down with a wash of blue. You could use Windsor blue, something like that. Your yellow could be Windsor yellow. Your red could be Scarlet Lake. You, you choose what you'd like to use. It's a mop brush that I've used for most of that. And now I'm going into a flat brush with a darker version of the Windsor Blue, a combination of Windsor Blue and your red. In my case, the Scarlet Lake. And just um, using that small flat brush, a quarter or a half size, something like that, you can um, achieve more accuracy when painting things like the clouds. And as we get down towards the horizon, the clouds will get thinner. So thicker at the top, thinner as you come down. Then I mopped up the edges and I used a hairdryer to quickly dry that off. And you see the colors as always dry lighter, the pigments. Now going in to the water area, a wash of yellow. Please remember to like and subscribe because if you do so, you'll be notified of future videos and it's all free. Then on top of that yellow wash, I've put my red wash and then blue. And as always with the water, you start with your strongest color at the bottom, the blue, and work up the painting. I'm purposefully leaving some little light areas here and there. And I'm doing a few downward strokes with the flat brush where the clouds are um, showing some degree of reflection in the water. And then we'll, so they're vertical, and then we'll do some more horizontal. Here we go now with a flat brush, a few horizontal lines, you know, ripples on the water, etc., or little shadows. And that makes the water look convincing. And we've got a nice light area there um, because we'll be doing uh, some uh, reflection of the cells in the water. And that will show up nicely. Then for the distant bank, just uh, your dark bluish color. And as you come down to the water's edge, you just fuse that in. So that's a little bit more light. Um, at the bottom where it meets the water. Just as I'm doing now, you could use something like a number four brush, I would suggest. Or smaller if you wish, number two, whatever you have. And just fuse that in. And continue with that. This uh, video was the idea mentioned by one of our German friends of the channel. So that's why we're doing the sailing vessel. And um, please suggest future tutorials you would like to see in the comments. And you never know, yours may be picked up in future. I love to paint what the viewers want to see. So this is one example where we've taken up what a viewer has suggested. We've done others as well. So we do listen, we do take account of what you'd like. And then for the, the sailing barge, I would suggest just study a few photos of these um, majestic sailing barges. Uh, they're amazing. They can be operated by just two people, the way they can um, raise the sails on various um, mechanisms makes it easy to be able to do so, despite the fact that those sails must weigh a ton. 
Uh, here and there, as you saw, you can use a tissue to mop up a little bit if you've got a little bit of excess pigment and so forth, um, as I did then. Then at the water line, they, they have a darker area at the bottom of the main structure of the barge at the keel area. And there's a, a little chat at the back there where, where the steering wheel is that we're just in, lightly indicating. And you saw me using the tissue again to mop up excess. These um, cells are a sort of rusty color. You could use something like a light red or an Indian red. One of those will work fine. And just have it a little bit varied here and there um, in terms of the hue on, on the cells. And you'll, later on, you'll see various lines are drawn in as well for hoisting the cells. And they, they carry a, a little boat at the back. And continue with that using your small brush. These barges used to ply along the various rivers and around the coast for many years, carrying various goods. And um, over the years, many have been restored and uh, now used mainly as pleasure craft. And um, they have great historical significance and they can look very graceful when when they're sailing as you can see i'm quickly blocking that in and it is a little bit varied you see a bit lighter parts darker parts and so forth on the cells this is the mezzan at the back Just continue with that. When you get onto the various ropes and so forth, you might want to drop down to something like a number one brush um, for really thin lines. And if you study them, you, you will see these various um, shapes that occur from the corners inwards. Of, of the cells where they stretch accordingly and don't forget you can use, use the hair dryer here and there to um, mop up uh, to dry the process quicker and here we go with the flat brush again once again for accuracy um, using that flat brush to show some of the little reflections in, in the water, just a few enough to tell a story, not laboriously done, just break them up, um, just study where those reflections more or less should be. So please remember to like and subscribe as you will be notified of future videos. And I'm using the flat brush again to show a few more reflections in the water. Just use your blue and red color next, not too strong. Obviously, as as we get closer, we're go going now into the flat brush again for a little bit of bank. Just a mixture to get your greens. And the flat brush is very good for getting accuracy of those various grasses. And that also helps push the eye up for this painting. And there we have it. The painting is quickly finished.
and here's a reveal. I hope you tackle this. I think you can do this. And people are saying that these tutorials are proven to be very helpful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.